Hey everybody, Sojin here, back again with another Dan Plays video. I have Cammy here and Dan is in the room. Hey. Hi. <laughs> We're playing Super Mario Land for the Game Boy. So, um, when did you first play this game? Uh, probably when I was like six. <laughs> six years old. <laughs> it's like one of my first games I've ever played, probably. Yeah, I, so. honestly, I did not play this game or even know it existed until I was... 14 years old. <laughs> really? Yeah, I've never actually played this game before. The first Mario games I was introduced to were the NES and Super NES ones. Yeah, this is a weird one because it's got like some of the different enemies and... And different music too, and I know it has Daisy in it. Yeah, Daisy. It's Mario yeah. and Daisy, not Mario and Peach. That's kind of weird. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, actually, no, wait. Mm -hmm. Wasn't um, his original girlfriend named Pauline or something? Uh, oh. I, I think so, but that's like original, original. Yeah. Um, this is kind of a weird thing I figured out as a kid. You can so You're supposed to get through there as small Mario, but you can like kind of lean into it. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, there you go. And then you just jump. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's Pauline. I just looked it up. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Little tea bag. Yeah. I heard of penis flattening, but not whole flattening. <laughs> yeah. Not whole body. Yeah, I was I was disappointed that I never found out about this game until like such a late age, to the point where by the time I was 14 years old, I was already like, you know, with my Game Boy Advance SP and all the other games and such. But I think I picked it up and played it for a while, but I don't remember what level it was. I got stuck in one level that I couldn't beat, and I just rage quit. <laughs> yeah, it's it's hard, like, you have to like, practice this game, and the physics are kind of weird. Mario feels like more like he's on ice or something. Yeah. Like, he's got weird momentum in this, like, he just stops on a, on a dime. <laughs> yeah, it's just, it's a lot harder just because of the controls. Yeah, like, like, I didn't play, like, the original Super Mario Brothers until way later. Mm -hmm. um, when I think of Mario, I think of this game. I think this was actually my brother's game, and he gave it to me later on, or whatever. <laughs> yeah. Aww. Such is the thing of siblings, and yeah. downs. <laughs> <laughs> So I, still, I still have it. He may want it back. I don't know. <laughs> I, I doubt he's going to want it back, but who knows. Yeah. Sojin doesn't know anything about hand-me-downs because he didn't grow up with siblings. He's an only child. Well, yeah. technically I did have hand-me-downs, but it was like from my grandpa, and it was like giant-ass jackets that I still don't fit into. <laughs> really? Well, it was so yeah. sweet, though, because you kept it in your car, and there was that one time we were on a date at Chili's, and I was really cold. Mm -hmm. And I was just like, hey babe, you think you could get that jacket from your car? Like, I'm just, I'm really, really cold right now. I'm really uncomfortable. And he actually went into his car and he got me the jacket. Yeah. Oh. yeah. The, the, the weird thing about that jacket is, though, it, it's really big. And I probably never, like, truly fit into it. But the, the wrist part of it is very small. I know. And constricting. <laughs> It's like, it's baby made wrists. for little, well, yeah, baby wrists. Yeah, it's like, it's made for a big dude with baby wrists. <laughs> Can you imagine, like, somebody's, like, gangsta name being baby wrists? <laughs> baby wrists. It's like, well, why, why they call you baby wrists? Because I'm going to snap your wrist like if you were a baby. Yeah. By the way, I looked up Pauline, and in the wiki page, oh my gosh, like, it's a picture of her character's design from Super Mario Odyssey, and she looks like Jessica Rabbit met Carmen Sandiego. Oh yeah, that yeah, one. They brought her back in that game as some um, kind of like a side character. Mm -hmm. That's really cool though, you know, honoring, you know, that memory of, you know, you know just respect, you know, she was, she yeah. was the first, first lady. Yeah. Also, I'm gonna have to do this with editing to show you guys, but I was gonna point out earlier that when they showed Daisy, the I know it's just the pixels with her nose and her mouth, but the shape of it just made it look like she had a mustache. <laughs> yeah, it does look kind of funky. I mean, that's yeah. probably what Mario saw in her, another mustache. <laughs> I, I mean, some guys are probably into girls with mustaches. Some of them. Some of them, I don't know. <laughs> You want, you want to share? No. <laughs> I'm not one of those type of guys. Don't get me wrong, if you want to rock a beard and mustache, more power to you, girl, but that's not my thing. Let's just say I had to shave before Dan arrived. 
Oh. <laughs> well, let's, let's, just, let's just say your mustache, your mustache was barely there. It's like, it's more like, I, you can kind of see it, but not really. And when you put your finger to it, you don't feel anything. Yeah, it's peach fuzz. Yeah, it's like, it's not a mustache. Mm. It's not like darker hair. <laughs> no, it, yeah. So it's more visible. <laughs> yeah, what, what it looks like with Daisy, it just straight up looks like she had one of those old timers mustaches. <laughs> the ones that twirl. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> kind of reminds me of that episode of My Name is Earl with that bearded girl that he had on his list. Oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah, because like the whole point of that show was like he had a near-death experience, so he made a list of everything bad he did to people, so then he goes out of his way to, like, I guess, amend it. Mm -hmm. So, I think he used to make fun of the girl all the time for having a beard, and then she owned up to it as an adult, but he kind of wanted to make up, make it up to her. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. That was one of, like, the sadder episodes in the beginning, because, like, mm -hmm. she ended up, like, living in, uh... Damn. A, a colony of carnies, and like everybody would just get on, you know, their case and, and call them freaks and stuff like that. And that's really right. sad. Yeah, I've only seen that show a couple times. Yeah, it's a, it's a good show. Um, it, it is a very good show. Like one of my favorite characters is Darnell and Joy. Mm. Like I love those two so much. Joy is the most ratchet white woman I've ever seen in my life, and I love her for it. Yeah. The weird thing is, though, when it used to be on Netflix, it had it had a really good finale episode. But now it's like when I rewatched it with Cammy, that episode is gone. And just that one. Yeah, I don't know what it is. And then when we looked it up, there's nothing online that explains it. I honestly feel like it's Mandela effect because I tried looking into what could have happened. And even the creator said, oh, yeah, well, you know, we never were able to conclude anything uh, from the cliffhanger ending. And I'm just like, but that's so weird because Sojin said that there was an ending, well, you know? Yeah, because I, I clearly remember there was an episode. I don't know if it was the finale or not, but it was probably what it was. It's probably a different episode. Maybe. There was an episode where uh, Earl basically almost nearly messed up Darnell's marriage, which is which was his friend there, um, because... His friend and his ex-wife. And his ex-wife. <laughs> but then he went out of his way to get them back together and fix it, and it was a good ending type of episode, but I don't know, it was just, it was not available because we didn't watch it. Are you sure it wasn't from season one where, like, they actually got married and, uh... No, because, like, Darnell, I remember he, he, Darnell, they were in the place with, uh, with a play area, kids' play area. Uh-huh. And Darnell hid in the freaking tubes and everything. And, and so, in the play area with no kids oh in Oh my there. god, that is a mustache. Yeah, I saw, I told you. Yeah. So Earl went in, went in there to go get him and talk to him in there. I remember that episode clear as day. When, when your girlfriend turned into calamari. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that happens multiple times in the game, but it's like different things. Oh my Ma gosh. Mario's that that dude with the weird fetish where she's about to shave it. He's like, no, no, <laughs> the mustache. No, no, <laughs> no, no, amore me, <laughs> mi amore. That's just his thing, he can't... Don't the shape of the mustache. <laughs> <laughs> and then she, she puts down the razor and he goes, Yahoo! <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> he just can't get it up unless there's a mustache. <laughs> <laughs> and then all of a sudden, like, he's like, I have a good idea, you, you wear this! And then he hands her, like, the freaking overalls and a green hat. <laughs> That's so messed up. <laughs> that, that, is, that is messed up. <laughs> I'm not saying he has a complex, but uh... <laughs> I would, I would just, I would just stick with the whole mustache thing. <laughs> it's just, it's not as bad. <laughs> it's weird here because he's with Luigi's girl. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> yeah, I guess. <laughs> exactly. You want to know why? Because he wants to screw with Luigi. Not her. <laughs> right. Are you creating safe states just in case? Because you not yet. Not okay. Yet. I got 13 lives. Doing okay so far. All right. Um, approximately like how long is this game on average? Around 30 minutes. 30 minutes. If you, That's not if so you bad. know what you're doing. 
Yeah, because I, I, I can see wasting many hours on this game because of how hard it is. I'm trying to remember which level I rage quit on. I don't think it was this one. This is the one I, as a kid, I didn't really, I died here and then we get game over. Yeah, no, no, it was this part. It was that part with the stupid boulder. <laughs> I could I like, like cinnamon buns or something. They did. Yeah, I didn't I didn't know I didn't know you could like land on it. I kept like oh, really? <laughs> I, I kept jumping every time it would bounce. So every time every time that, that rock would bounce, I would jump thinking, oh shit, I would fall on the spikes and I kept falling into spikes. I'm not oh. gonna lie, this is a really bad decision, but I would throw punch somebody for some cinnamon. <laughs> That's really? pretty fucked up. <laughs> like, it's just, the, it's, not, it's not the throat punching that's a bad decision. I'm saying it's like actually eating it because it's <laughs> not good for my stomach. <laughs> well, the fucked up thing is you just had to go violent with <laughs> <getting a> Cinnabon. <laughs> not like, oh, I'll pay somebody uh, like 50 bucks for Cinnabon. No, throat punch them. <laughs> that's the only currency. Disembowel my enemies for one. But that's the only currency I have to offer. <laughs> <laughs> what is pain? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. No. Just like the freaking robot from uh, Ratchet and Clank. Yeah. What was it, Mr. Uh, what was his name? Mr. Zergon, I think it yeah, was? Yeah, Mr. Zergon does not need bolts. His currency is pain. Yeah, his currency is pain. I really like that. I think it was Zergon. I can't remember. That's the, that's another game that I think we have the digital copy of it on the PS4, and I would love yeah. to play that on the channel. Oh, the remake? The remake. It's, it's basically... It's weird. It's it's a game based off of the movie that was based off of the original game. Yeah. It was, uh, it's it's strange. a simulation inside of a simulation. <laughs> yeah, it's strange. But it's it's still fun. I enjoyed it. It brought back a lot of memories from the old game, but there's still a lot of stuff from the old game kind of missing. At least getting the Rhino weapon is a lot easier. Because in the original game, you had to grind and get a lot, a lot of bolts to buy it. Um, meanwhile, in this newer game, you just have to backtrack and collect certain cards or whatever. Right. It, I remember it taking a very long time. I yeah. Think, I think our friend Michael was able to do it, though. Yeah, Michael, <laughs> Michael did it with no problem because he had nothing better to do. He was just spending hours and hours. Y'all keep shit talking, Michael, on this show, and I right. need to stop. All right, it's all right. We do shit. He doesn't watch. He doesn't. Watch I understand, it. but it's like I understand. There's always a, a Michael quotation marks in in a group of friends, but y'all y'all be very specific. All right, I gotta say this. Um, with all with all the respect, Michael was still a good friend. We should have treated him better, and we feel bad about it today. And, yeah. and you keep shit talking yeah. him to this day. <laughs> well, we do because we're like, hey, yes, he—that's he, all he did. But we do commend commend him though because wait, he was—he was literally the only friend we knew that would go the extra mile to 100% every game he had. <laughs> yeah. I love how it, it was starting out as something very nice, like go the extra mile <laughs> to 100% a game. And it's just like, wow, I, I thought it was going to be something really nice about how he was Go the extra mile to help you? Yeah. <laughs> no, he wouldn't help you do it. He would just like, oh, he would be like, yeah, just look up a YouTube video. <laughs> that was just what he did. Yeah. <laughs> so mm -hmm. he, he would just he would just get hyper-focused and do it himself. Yeah, like this... This game just non-stop aggravated me. <laughs> I still like it. Yeah. Well, now that I know that you can stand on the frickin' boulders, this changes <laughs> everything. Yeah. But watch me still get stuck in a later in a later level. Mm -hmm. I think another pretty hard game, too, was... At least it was hard for me towards the end, was Super Mario Bros. 3. I think it was for the Super Nintendo. I never played that one all the way through. What is that? Uh, oh, uh, it's a mushroom. Yeah. I was like, my, my fat ass be thinking, is that a cupcake? Or a muffin or something. <laughs> yeah. Or it's the cupcake that wants to die. Yeah. No, it's muffin. Oh, the muffin. Yeah, it's yeah. It's muffin time! Why won't you let me die? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, no, I, I never beat Mario Brothers 3. I think it was my dad who beat it. And he, he showed me the last level and everything. 
Let's see what she turns into this time. <laughs> <laughs> the scary part is that that's her mouth. It's like, it's right where her neck is. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it's, it, the mustache thing is supposed to be like the outline of her head. Oh. oh. So maybe the nose part is her mouth. Maybe. And that's how I they don't know. <laughs> or she has a butt chin. I don't know. <laughs> I need that, yeah. I'm just gonna stick with the mustache though. Oh, that that one just straight up committed Sudoku. Yep. Like just Sudoku. <laughs> yeah, like they're just Sudoku. Yeah, yeah. Whatever it is. I'm going to Kermit sewer slides. <laughs> yeah, like straight up, she just fell off the edge. What are those things called? They're like undead something in Ch Chinese culture? I don't know, honestly. Undead. It's like, um, that, that one woman from, um, Darkstalkers is one of those. Um, right. the, the blue skin girl. I mean, even this game doesn't look that bad either. Like, it looks pretty yeah. pretty on par with that Kirby game. Sienko? Sienko? Kijin, Kijin Ko? Kijin Ko, yeah, sorry. I just, I, oh. I pronounced it Sienko. So is that the character or what they're actually the, called? The, the character. Okay, yeah. Okay. So they're like undead girls? I don't- yeah, I don't know what they are. I'm looking it up. Because every time you step on them, they don't die. Yeah, they just- get Just twist. stuns them. <laughs> Race. Jiang Shi, or Chinese Hopping Vampire. Oh. Okay. That's pretty sense. dark for a Nintendo game. Well, they have like also different... known as Kyongshi in Japan in Japanese. <laughs> you almost said Japan. Japan. <laughs> you know, you, you can't show the Japanes because of the censorship. <laughs> <laughs> I want to visit Japan with you. <laughs> you know, the creepy woman in my big pig. It's an inside joke from when we were playing. What was it? The Last of Us. Yes, the Last the, uh, of Us. I'll link that in the description if I remember. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'm just gonna stick with that voice for that guy. For Joel? Yeah. <laughs> uh, I, 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 I won't overuse the joke, but it'll still be funny. This level's music starts off with the racist. Da 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 da. Oh, really? Gosh. <laughs> That's well, funny. I mean, I, I don't Nintendo see the is from Japan, so. Yeah. I don't. Plus I don't this see was it. like an '89, so they, they, yeah. they, they got they got a pass. They got a pass. Yeah. But still, I don't I don't see that as being a racist thing. Like, yeah, it's not. There's <laughs> there's a number of things they could have done that could have been a lot worse. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I, I I noticed it now. It's just we have the TV at low volume, so it's hard to hear it. You can turn it up a touch. Yeah, walk. it's Chinese hopping vampire or hopping zombie. Oh, okay. It's a reanimated corpse in Chinese legends and folklore. Hmm. Okay. <clears throat> one guy probably probably got a divorce and had a nightmare one night and just be like, yeah, that's what it is. What? <laughs> it's a joke. Because <laughs> you said it's Chinese folklore, so it's like maybe the guy had a divorce and then had a nightmare one time that there was an undead woman chasing after him and then that's how he came up with the folklore. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I'm just making shit up. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm only goofing. <laughs> also, you, you're you dying a lot. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> it many... literally translates to stiff corpse. Oh. Ew. Ew. <laughs> what are you looking up? I'm just keep- I'm, I'm looking into the Jiangxi or Jiangxi uh, <laughs> lore. It is- it does seem interesting. Yeah, it has like a number of, um, what do they call it? The causes. You know, of like how these things come to being according to the folklore. Right. And one of them, like, you know, like, the, the, some of them are very typical common sense, like spirit possession of a dead body, use of supernatural arts to resurrect the dead, you know, and then there's like crazy shit like, uh, uh, you know, where is it? Like, the corpse comes to life after it is struck by a bolt of lightning or when a pregnant cat or a black cat in some <laughs> <A> pregnant cat <laughs> leaps across the coffin. Like, that's how- that's how it, it freaking, like, wakes up. <laughs> a, a pregnant cat? Yeah. Or, well, or, I mean, or a what cat? A black cat? A black cat, okay. yeah. Like, it makes sense with the pregnant cat because, you know, it technically has a life inside of it. Yeah. And the yeah. soul could transfer into the corpse. <laughs> like, you know, at least, you know, that's the common sense that I'm trying to apply to it. 
yeah. looks funny. But the black cat is just, he's black, it's magic! <laughs> yeah, black cats always have that Mystical. supernatural yeah. uh, thing about it. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. Also, this is interesting. Like, I, I never knew this was a part of the game. Oh, yeah. It's it's also kind of like a zombie. A person injured by a Jiangxi is infected with the Yangshi virus and gradually changes into a Kyongxi over time, like in vampire films. Oh, yeah, okay. I mean, it is undead, so mm. like, it's basically a zombie. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, they probably have a lot of Japanese films based on that. I don't know what it was back then, but I, I just noticed like a lot of like older side-scrolling type Game Boy games would suddenly just throw in, oh hey, here's a side-scrolling like airplane mode or whatever. <laughs> yeah. It was just, it was kind of weird. It's just kind of a common thing of that time. Yeah. It's kind of like in Phil of the Future for Game Boy Advance where they, they're like, oh, the Sky Act part is amazing, and when I got to that part, I was just like, it, it was underwhelming. <laughs> Well, that came way later. Yeah. I mean, this game came out, like, in 89, so... <laughs> oh, yeah. And it's funny that you mentioned it looks just as good as the Kirby one, because the Kirby game came out, like, in 92. Right. But they both look, like, pretty good. Yeah. Well, so there's just fists coming out. Yeah, it's so random. I feel like this is the Link's Awakening of Mario, <laughs> in a way. I wish they remade this game so bad. <laughs> yeah, it would be nice. Yangshi, that's how you pronounce it. Okay. I, I, I didn't want to sound like an asshole that didn't, you know, respect a person's culture enough to pronounce it the right way. Young shy. Yeah. Yangshi. <laughs> I know, I was just being goofy. <laughs> you were just being an insensitive asshole, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> that was a uh, kind of harsh. <laughs> <laughs> that was a pretty easy boss. Yeah, that was the last boss. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I mean, like, I understand it doesn't bother you too much, but it's like constantly, like, you know, saying Sojanetos and then, like, freaking Neo Cubist mispronouncing your name and everyone says oh, it. Daisy, exactly oh, Daisy, like oh, Daisy, give me that the mustache. <laughs> <laughs> Let's rub mustaches. Make it super gay. <laughs> See, from the side, she looks good. Yeah, yeah, she looks just fine. Actually, yeah, she looks normal on the side. Yeah. I guess it's just the pixels trying to outline her chin. It's her jawline, I think. Yeah. yeah. It's kind of similar with the original Pokemon, like Pokemon Red and Blue, where if you look at the character facing you, the pixels look weird, and it makes it yeah. look like his head is bigger than it is. <laughs> yeah. But anyway, imagine everyone just kept pronouncing your name just like Neo Cubist did, where he, he called you So Young Nito. Oh, yeah. Because so I, cause I, I donated, like, I think... Two dollars to a stream <laughs> to like give him advice on what he should do in a newer video or whatever, and said, "Hey, keep up the good work." Blah blah blah. He's like, "Yeah, I think that's Soyan Nidos," and I'm like, "What? <laughs> He's making me sound hecka Asian." Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and I so tried, young. I tried correcting him in the chat, but I'm like, ah, I don't want to donate another dollar just to correct him. <laughs> Maybe that was his whole plan all along to get more money out of you. No, he was being legit. He I actually know, he know. was actually telling people to slow down on the donations, and people just kept donating anyway. And literally, that is like the best thing to say in that situation if you want more money. It's like, please slow down. It's too much money. <laughs> he win five hundred dollars. Because he said he makes plenty of money from YouTube already alone. So all the extra donations, like, he appreciates it, but then he tells people to stop and they keep doing it. Yeah, yeah. yeah he even, like, said he bought his own car recently because of yeah. the two. Nice. He, uh, he actually meant, uh, I think on one of his streams, someone was offering, like, a, like a, I think a thousand dollars just to see his face. And then... He doesn't show his face? No, he doesn't, but... Somebody, somebody kind of ruined it, and it's like, oh, you can just go to his channel and see like this video from like two years ago, and he shows his face, and then they're like, oh, okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so he lost a thousand dollars there, but even then, he's like, no, no, don't, don't do that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'd be the same way. I'm very camera shy. Like I don't, I don't like showing my face on camera. Right. Well, that was, yeah, that was a pretty quick game. Yeah, um, and I didn't have to use save states. I had like six or seven lives. <laughs> yeah, and honestly, you beat it in about like 24, 25 minutes, so... Oh, of course Dan got yeah. a flex on us. Got flex, got beat that game, and five <laughs> minutes sooner, it's like, oh hey, 
five minutes uh, instant ramen noodles. I'm gonna do that shit in four and a half minutes. Yeah. <laughs> well, guys, thank you for watching and joining us today. And uh, if you like what you see, go ahead and like the video. Subscribe to see more videos. Hit that bell icon if you want to be the first to see when we stream and such. If you want more information on when we'll stream and everything and what's going on in our daily lives, go ahead and follow us on Twitter, Sojin underscore Netos, and at Cami Blaze. Patreon information is down below. If you want to become a Patreon as low as a dollar or five dollars a month, we'll give you a shout out at the end of every video. And uh, yeah, just uh, go ahead and also follow. Uh, go ahead and check out the link in the description below for the playlist for the da other dance play videos if you want to check them out. And uh, if, you, if you guys have any suggestions for any other games we should play, definitely comment below. Let us know. Thank you guys for watching again. Have an awesome one. Bye bye. Bye. See ya.